have you bells heard anything about him being too controlling or the fact that Latrice is in a marriage to where she doesn't have a voice? Like Keisha? Um, we hear things about each other all the time. So when I saw what happened at Embar, I was just like, oh, well, maybe it's some truth to it. But uh, without fighting there, she got a cell phone. She dialed 911. The police would be there. She make her own money. She won't leave me. Well, people she, are what, in what, domestic what, situations all the time. They get their ass whooped all the time and don't call anybody. Well, so this, that's this that's. Is not one of them. Well, okay. no, I'm just saying. I'm saying we've been, that, yeah, you we've been together. We've been together for oh, 13 years. If we've been a problem, she would have been that 911. Somebody... I know people who've been together 30 years yeah. and getting there and getting whooped and they don't say anything. And I'm not saying that's your situation, Cliff. Let's talk about you being controlling. You know, your wife has used those words. So I'm yeah. not saying anything out of term. Go ahead. Your wife has said you can't be controlling. Um, I think I'm demanding. Is that the reason why you chose to marry a much younger woman? To be able to control Let me ask it. I didn't choose to marry a young woman. I didn't even come on to her. She, she chose me. She asked me, forced me to marry. I didn't want to get married. She thought she was going to leave me, and I said, well, I got to marry this one. I, I was in love with her, but I didn't want to get married. It, be, being a single guy and doing everything I want is a great thing, but I loved her, so I married her. So she could have been 50, I still going to marry her. Your heart don't choose the age that you fall in love with. It can't choose who you fall in with a woman or a man. That's something that you can run from, but you, it, it going to track you down. How, what do you say to people who think, <clears throat> You have anger issues. You don't trust her. You keep a tracker on her car. I got no tracker on her car. That's a lie. <laughs> she, 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 we follow her phone sometimes. You know, she. You guys share each other's location. Yeah, yeah we share location. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and Letitia, obviously, when it comes to every, everybody on the stage, at one point in time, you were the closest to Latrice. Mm -hmm. um, has there ever been moments where she confided in you about certain things? Have there been moments where you have been concerned? based on things that you just know? Unlike Latrice, what Latrice and I talked about in private when it came to Glenn or her, I'm not gonna speak on it in front of the group. So a lot of people, Cliff, they saw you grab her. Right. Call her a bitch. This is somebody who you pride as being your wife. Right. Talk to me about the reason behind you doing those the, the things. The reason behind that, I was very angry, but when Josh came in the house, disrespect my house, did what he did, told lies. I was very upset. Then she goes out the next night and be with him. And I apologize for that. I was real angry. And it took me a while to get over that. I was mad for about two months behind that. But, so you took your anger out on Latrice. Right. Be because, when it was directed towards Josh. Now, right, at the end of the day, I, Josh may be gay, but he's a man. So, respectfully, should that anger have been presented to another man? She shouldn't have went back out to Embar with Josh. Does that mean she deserves to be called a bitch? No. Do you regret saying that? Yeah, I regret that. Have you told her that? Yes, I apologize. Has he apologized to you for that? Yeah, yeah. When it comes to your marriage, do you, do you feel safe? Yes, I feel very safe. Carlos, I promise you, I am good. I wouldn't trade my life for a single person on this stage, and those are facts. Because at the end of the day, they're going through way worse than what they feel like I'm going through. Well, every marriage got problems. We have problems. If you're in a relationship, you got problems. If on this stage and they have problems, they're married. They're not married. Well, I think marriage has problems, but I think there's a problem if it results in physicalness, right? Right. Like I like agree with that. Latrice, a lot of people do feel you are this young, gorgeous girl. Mm -hmm. You're successful. Mm -hmm. You are a girl with daddy issues. Right. And that oftentimes a girl with daddy issues marries an older man because the absence of, of her dad. Mm -hmm. A lot of people look up to you. A lot of people really aspire to be you. Do you feel like you are misunderstood as being this woman who can't defend herself because she's afraid to do so. Yes, I think that there's a huge misconception because behind it all, regardless of what the cameras are showing, Carlos, when I say I'm a strong, independent woman, I'm not afraid to leave my husband. It's nothing for anybody. I don't care what they think because I know what's going on. My husband, once again, he has never put his hands on me. And if he did, he honestly, he wouldn't be here today.